Africa, one, there's no other. No. Because she wrap it well from her shoes to her hair, uh, from her bangers. Of course, you can see the earpiece on, uh, ear, earrings, uh, uh, quite fantastic. Is yeah. Africa fully represented? I, I think we should give you a word. Yes, please. For selling our culture. I have to. Because so you, you rep everything. Men looking at you, you go outside the shores of Nigeria. You don't need mm -hmm. to be asked. Yeah. Where are you from? They just, like, they we, just, we love what you're doing. We love what you're doing. I get it a lot. <laughs> Even our song, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well yeah, done. Yeah. Well done, Thank Jacob. So man. I'm really so proud of you. Oh, Beautiful. You but, but again, uh, let's start with creating this I iconic nature for yourself. Mm. What inspired it? Uh, what inspired it would be my music and my love for culture. I am from Engenaya in River State. I love, love, love my culture. Wow. And that spreads to every culture in River State. You know, we are like, we are of diversity. Yeah. And this spreads to every culture out there in Nigeria, every people all over Africa. I love everything Africa. Mm. So it's not just Engene, it's not just River State, it's not just Nigeria. Everything Africa just turns me on. Oh, right. Yes. And then I try to promote the culture of Africa, you know, also through my music. And how best would you promote this mm. if you're at a place where people look up to you, mm. you're try, you're uh, being of influence, how best can you promote Africa, uh, bringing so much of positivity to River State, to mm. Nigeria, to Africa, then looking the positive part yeah. of Africa. Get to see and people get to admire mm. Africa through your art, through my songs, through my dressings, uh, through my lifestyle. Mm. I just, I just, I just love representing Africa. Wow! And promoting Africa positively. Beautiful. Yes. You know, w when I look at you, um, I, I, I saw late Brenda. Oh, how did you know that? <laughs> How did you know that? Because yeah. um, the vibes, the energy, oh, yeah. the strength, yeah. your articulation, yeah. you know, I'm like, <laughs> oh, we didn't really lose her. No, uh, we didn't lose her at all. In fact, one of my greatest regrets would be, aside uh, not having my mother here, yeah. uh, still alive, it would be that Brenda Fresa is not alive. Wow. Yes, because, in fact, uh, my first uh, love for stage performance uh, would go back to when I was like a... Uh, 11 12 there about when i started watching her on stage there's there's this i think if I, if i'm ever going to talk about how it all started my mm. love for stage performance okay even before i knew i could do my own music mm. i just knew as a child that i wanted to be like that auntie there Whoa. i loved i know when she would perform for president and i'll be like wow and I was very little. And I was saying, man, I'm going to perform for presidents. Oh, Where? Well, you know, South Africa then was like America in my head. Yeah. So I was like, wow, I will go to America or South Africa and I'll perform for presidents. Where? And that was Brenda Fraser. What? I love her. I love her. I love her. So yes, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Funny enough, we've, we've not talked about this before. I just met her a few hours ago. Yeah. So I was trying to read her personality and uh, call out some things out of her. Um, kudos to you. Now, let's talk about your work. Um, mm -hmm. Your music was played earlier on before mm -hmm. we came on stage. Uh, do you know what I saw? I'm what like, if we could have the combo of Jekume mm -hmm. and uh, uh, what's her name again? Or um, what's her name? You should know her. You look like her. Yeah, I know my twin sister. Yes, yeah, it's twin sister. It, interesting. Good. You, 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 you got it. You got, yeah. Oh, they call you twin sister. Would, I was like, if we could time. have these two combo like, on somehow, River State stage. <laughs> that would be nice. That would be nice. Yeah, me all day. So are, are you thinking about that? Uh, someday I'd like to do a song with her and other prominent female musicians yeah. in Nigeria and all over Africa. I think they are doing amazing works. They were savage. Uh, there's so many of them. They are doing amazing works. And I love, I love them all. Mm. I love them all. They are all flying so high. You know, sometimes in this industry of ours, uh, you get things like, oh, it's very hard for women mm. to so. And, and it's true. And so I admit all of them. I'm proud of all of them. And I like to work with them all. Different times. Okay, let's talk about your song. Uh, how, how do you coin out lyrics from... Uh, impute an African culture into musical genre. Yes. Um, my songs, lyrically, I speak about different things. 
I love uh, being inspirational. I have a song, Shine On, I have a banner, which is, I call it unconventional gospel song, because it's a gospel song. Mm. Then I talk about love, I talk romance, I talk dance, I talk having fun, I talk about life. Music to me is just all about life. And I thought, how best am I going to be able to mm. share our own experiences, mm. not just mine, but yours and everyone okay. here in River State, from my own Engene, all over Nigeria and Africa to the world. Music is global. Mm. How do we sell the African culture and its people and our experiences, if not through music? Mm. So that is why whatever I do, you see me adding my language. I put in Igbo, I put in Yoruba, I put in Ikura, I, I put in Kalabari, whatever language that comes to my head at mm. the time, I just... <laughs> Fuse it in. So are you versatile with all Africa, Nigerian languages? Uh, I'm not quite, but what I do is I must at least know that I try to understand the little greetings. Mm -hmm. And if I'm to record and I have in mind to, maybe I heard something in your language and yeah. I'm like, oh, I love, I love that. I like to infuse it in my song. I'm going to call somebody from your place and, okay. and, and know, really get how to really speak those things mm -hmm. I wanted to say. And I, I wish, I wish, and I really want to like speak every language wow. in Nigeria. I mean, if you look at my marks now, yeah. I'm Nigerian. <laughs> now, me get Nigeria, you have to understand. Uh, Interesting. So yes. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> now, confusing. Okay, I love, love, love confusing. Be beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, that, like I mentioned earlier, I just met you. And I'm like, we have a great talent. Yeah. And within me, I was like, where has she been? How come I haven't seen her works? How yeah. come I haven't had a bar tear? Uh, I know the last time I saw her was when the Ravers days brought all of the particular artists yeah, together. Yeah. Uh, you're a beneficiary of that. Yes, it yes. was like, um, uh, what would they say when people are remembered? Exactly, and there's exactly, huge transformation. Exactly. So, where has Jekume been? Uh, Jekume has been here. I, will, I started recording uh, when I was a teenager. Okay. That was my team. I had a group then, the J2 crew. Uh, through Mokoro in those days. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. We had a little album launch in those days at Safari Hotel. Okay. Kids. I was the youngest and I was the only girl in the crew. Oh. But then uh, that was just little, little, little of it. Then uh, 2009, 2010, I officially went solo. Okay. Uh, I went to school, it was just back and forth. But right after my finals, 2014, I decided to go into music fully mm. so since 214 215 i've been doing this and i must commend silverbed uh television silverbed radio potakot they have been so amazing my 3.7 yeah, they've, they've been amazing all the workers old and new they've contributed immensely to my growth and to where i am today mm. and uh, not just to me to other up and coming acts in river state so yes i've been here and support has been coming from every other media station it's been nice I okay think. but what are you currently working on oh, um yes. there was a humongous package given to mm -hmm. Port Harcourt artists after mm -hmm. the performer yes what is your current plan or what's what's um plans came up after All that right. um experience uh, uh, one, one one thing about finances in our industry is uh is the fact that it's so 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 capital intensive it's like it's it's quite expensive mm. to even make a song, have a, a video, and even get to promote it that people even get to see. Mm. Uh, for some of us, before that fund came, that 2021, we already had plans. I already had a Oshikri Festival ongoing. We started 2018. Okay. An, an annual event. Mm. We've been doing that already, which costs so much already. Um, I already have videos on air playing mm. here playing on hip tv also i guess at the time then uh, when the phone came in the first thing we did was we shot a video we shot sugar coated video wow. a world-class video wow. by uh eddie isaacs it's okay. also going to be showing on your screen okay. and then we pushed it it was playing here we came here uh we went to other stations started playing on uh, hip tv and sound city wow you know all of that mm. cost a lot Man, i went yeah. to lagos recently i was also in lagos uh for i headlined the art miabu festival oh. an international art festival they actually celebrated afrobeat the mm. team was uh, arts of afrobeat okay. so i was chosen to headline the show in Lagos. Beautiful. A, a one week performance that mm. I did. So we also went there, we've also been trying to push to spread our works and our music. And also uh, our latest video is the first one you showed, mm. uh, which is uh, Love Kill Me Die. Uh, it was released sometime uh, mid, mid, late, late last year. Mm. And also it is still on the promotion link and all of that. So yes, we've been working. Mm. We've been working, trying to make sure we keep it back to back, uh, go out on events. But 
that we also have our own brand that mm. we are pursuing and we are trying to expand and also to create avenue you know a platform for other up and coming acts so that some of them don't get to go through some of the things we went through mm. so yes yes that's what we've been doing not just for me but also trying to create platforms for, for other all those people yes. we're the four okay uh, how do you think such opportunity can promote the creative industry in the state uh, because First, such opportunities don't come so they don't, often. They don't, they don't come so often. Now, I, I think, um, uh, for instance, since we're talking about promotion now yeah. of, of, of the, the real estate industry, I have been a very vocal person when it comes to promotion or development of the entertainment and the creative sector of okay. real estate. Uh, 2019, we, we took it, before we've been talking and working, but 2019, I came up with an idea and um, I gathered all industries of the creative space mm. in River State, and we try to reach the governor, the former, now former governor, yeah. our His Excellency, mm. Chief Barrister Yeso Inzuma Wiki. Mm. Uh, that was the very first time that entertainers from all industries will gather. That was the very first time in River State, okay. and speaking one voice. Yeah. And even though our letters are still with the governor, mm. you know, it's the continuity governor, yeah, government, government even yeah. if he's not there, the letters are still there mm. with our request uh, to officially have an interface with the River State government, uh, there are there are there are so much that could be done. Mm. Uh, we, of course, passing out grants is very much good, but there there are so much that could be done for the the sector itself. We we need to have um, a, a collaboration with government. We need to have a collaboration with the private sector. And one thing about this is, the private sector people um, listen more to government. Okay. So sometimes from government, what we need will not usually and always be cash, mm. but it would boil down to be recognized as a business sector in River State. That should be invested in. Yes, exactly. So w once we get that recognition by the River State government, we are hoping and still praying and trying to push to our present governor mm. now, uh, Sir Sinala Ifubara. Mm -hmm. We believe and hope and pray that he listens. Because uh, one thing about the creative sector, it's not just dancing and singing and acting as some people just see it. Mm. It is a huge business. It is a huge business, a huge sector that could battle unemployment in River State. It is a huge sector that could empower the youths. You know, let's say for instance now, you're making a movie. You're making, let's say, a Netflix movie. And we know this cost like, uh, you have a good story, right? That uh, Netflix okays. Uh, whatever they want to do, you're still going to be spending close to 70, 75 to 100 million. This is what happens for such kind of movies. So you need to have at least good money to present to Netflix and they say, okay, we are coming in, okay. let's market your, and then you sell, they get their own, right? Now, how do you do this if you don't have these investors? You need, this is the private sector now. You need these people who understand this business, who have the big box to come in. Mm. And they will usually come in when they see that government has recognized this business, this outfit. Is it, is, it, is it just the government figure that needs to come in? That is why I said the private sector. I mean, because private, private sector. Private then, sector. Then that is where the problem is because if you are not officially like recognized, yeah. like government, you know we dodge our responsibilities. I'm not going to mention names, but we know of private sectors where we are let's say in the oil and gas industry mm. if if government don't hold them well the, 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 what do you call it the community responsibility or mm. social responsibility social, they, social responsibility yeah you, you start having issues with that yeah. you you need to have government um, you know finger in like it's not government but then it's the community mm. but then if government don't say something if government don't come in between to like make a push they'll start dragging legs if you leave them to interface just with the communities okay. this is okay. what also happens here we need we need to create this awareness i think one of the biggest problems we have also is how the industry has been or how the sector has been okay. there's been um so little awareness on the business part of the industry uh, i i I, uh, I i realized that whenever you mention entertainment um i have people that i look up to mm. um in other sectors too whether in politics in, in, in business the first thing that comes to their mind is okay now those who okay the, 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 let's leave that okay. let's Thanks. talk about so the Oshikari festival please do, please um do. what is it about what uh are, should people expect when the Oshikari festival comes uh, yes. on 
Um, what is the brain or the idea behind your Shikari Festival? Yes. Now, Shikari Festival is a project of mine. I'm so passionate about it. We started 2018. Uh, this would have been the sixth edition, but for the COVID, mm. 2020, we didn't do it. So this is the fifth edition. It's an annual event and it happens this year. We are looking at it happening on the 10th of December. Mm. And that's the second Sunday of December. Uh, Oshikri Festival is all about, first, what's the name Oshikri? Mm. Oshikri is a name that uh, I think almost all Niger data or majority of Niger data speaking people will tell you is sugar, you know, and you can also say it's sweet. So we say Oshikri Entertainment, my, my company is Oshikri Entertainment, okay. and uh, we're talking about sweet entertainment, but then why we, we couldn't just say sugar, why? We said Oshikri because we're about promoting mm. the culture of rivers people of Niger Delta, Nigeria and all over Africa. Mm. So it's all about promoting our culture. Basically, first of all, you talk about the food. We try to uh, uh, create awareness, share, talk about our food that we eat here, things that people love to eat, our dressing. So it, it takes the food, it takes fashion. You have fashion runway, mm. you have comedy, you have music uh, from live band, best of live band uh, uh, people in, in the state and from uh, our environment. Mm. You have dance. Is it an annual, an annual event? It's an annual event. When, uh, what part of the year do you have this? I have it with December. 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 I do it first or second, but this year we're doing it on the 10th which is second Sunday of December. Do you have on grand sponsors for you? Uh, those are some of the issues we're talking about, looking into how private sector could come in okay. into partnering with the creative sector in River State. But where do you hold this event? I, River um, State? Uh, Port Harcourt? Yes, Port Harcourt. What part of Port Harcourt? It depends. Uh, last year was in Jari. Okay. A uh, year, uh, year before last was at uh, LA Kings okay. um, Stadium Road. I think the other four, three editions have been in Jerry. And are you not looking forward to bringing in local government? Because Oshikiri is something, My local government something in the so journey, like yeah. closer to the people. It is, it is, it is very close to the people. That is why we have cultural displays okay. also on that day. Uh, the last edition we had uh, uh, the River State Art and Council perform. They performed last edition, they performed uh, even the, the uh, edition before that. So it's all about celebrating our culture, but then also with the contemporary entertainment. Mm. So like bringing our cultural entertainment and then the contemporary Fusion. entertainment. Yes. Beautiful. I think I like your hair. Thank you. Um, I'm having your hair bone. Uh, talk to us about it. Where, uh, are you, yeah. out? I mean, you talked about stage performance. It's yeah. like that's your forte. <laughs> the stage thing. Yeah, thing so, queen, so okay. Yeah. <laughs> so sell yourself to people, watch it in few minutes because our time is up. Time is up. Yeah, so All fast. Right. Are you you're talking, no, about? talking about? I'm just, I'm just having a good time. You're amazing. Okay, Laura. talk to the camera. Oh, y'all, I just want to say that I love you and I love you. And I just want to say, me bale ma wa we no. Yeah. Me be le wa we no. Do you know what that means? It means I love you, I love you, I love you. Please, please, please keep supporting your Shikri brand support Jikume, support the Shikri festival and support the creative industry in River State. We need you. We cannot do it alone. When you look at other places, you envy them and you say, why don't you do this in River State? It's because people there support them. Please support us as we come to knock at your doors for your partnership, your sponsorship, ticket sales. Please encourage us so that we can all grow and create employment in River State for ourselves and for the beautiful, young, and talented, hardworking people working with us. Thank you so much, Silverbed. Thank you so much for Tarkot. I love you. Thank you so much. All right, that's a document for you, Oshikiri, a one of Africa. Thank you so much for your time on <laughs> the program. Thank you for having me all. And she, she's taking all of our time. I can't, I can't bring her back to work because oh God, she's just an enjoy it. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, that's the show today, and it's been a fantastic week with you, amazing time with you. And uh, on behalf of the back room, guys, Adako went to the Merla, oh, Isaac Olise, uh, Isaac uh, Wokai, uh, Justice Aya Olise Okai, and uh, blessing uh, John C. Ikanko Ikanko. <laughs> I am proud you can remember to stay happy to always and to laugh. Just smile. Smile over issues that may want to bother you. Just smile over it and laugh over it because the most important thing is for you to keep your mind intact and keep your sanity intact. Because with the way the politics, people are angry out there and you don't want to be caught up in that web. So stay happy and appreciate yourself. Appreciate everything happening around you. I will see you next week, same time on the show. 
I am floor chick. Bye for now. <laughs> Oh, she get it freaky